Small Face, it's Kat here, and yes, I know I am in the exact same makeup and hair and outfit as my last video, but as you know from the last video, I am working two jobs now, and I don't have that much time, so I'm trying to get as much filmed on my day off as I can, so we're going to do a quick little current favorites. Uh, I know February is over, but it's like middle of March now, and so I don't really know where to put this, so it's not really a spring favorites, because it's not spring yet. But we're just going to say current favorites because I'm liking some things and I just want to talk about them. So let's get into it. The first thing is I have become completely obsessed with chunky sneakers. I never thought I would be a sneaker girl ever in my life. I have always been like a flats or a heels person. But I was, I just, I fell in love with Fila's man and I'm broke. I'm too broke to afford actual Fila's. But Walmart has some knockoff Fila's and like I am obsessed with them. These are a newer pair I got recently because I treated myself. They're only 17 bucks so it wasn't too bad. But I had the all white pair but they had these ones with this cute little pink holographic strip on it and I couldn't resist like how cute. But I have just become so obsessed with them. It's so comfy. They look so cute and like they fit my new style so much, like I love, 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 love them. So we're going to continue on with fashion, and I have become completely, completely, completely obsessed with floral peasant tops. I have gotten a few from Target and Walmart, like this again, 10 bucks at Walmart, like look how cute this top is. I just really love how they shape my body. I have lost 60 pounds now, and I'm really feeling myself, and... I'm really liking how my body looks. I just love how peasant tops kind of go to my curves and I really just love them. Like, look how cute this little pink one is. Like, I just like, I just really like wearing them. This is basically, when I say what my new style is, it's it's floral peasant tops, guys. That's, that's what it is. Oh, especially like the Wild Fable line is literally everything I want. Like, I want the entire line. It's so cute. I'm all about it. Like, I have four of these tops now, and I feel so cute, and they were all super cheap, and, like, I had Target gift cards, so I treated myself. <sighs> but this was an ultimate splurge. Now, I know I'm saying I'm a broke bee, and I'm trying to save a lot of money, but when I saw this, I finally caved. I finally caved, and I bought a spirit jersey at Disney. And, God, I, I, I always said there was no point for me to ever have one, because... I never wear sweatshirts and I only wear dresses and it would just not be practical for me to ever buy one because they're so expensive and I would never wear it. I literally wear this anytime I can. When I, like, I will wear this almost every day. But guys, come on. How could, how could I resist? It's a Baby Yoda spirit jersey. Look how cute it is. And it's pastel and just so, so adorable. And on the back it says the Mandalorian. Like, how, how cool is this? How could I resist? I caved. I became one with the spirit jerseys. It's who I am now. I'm a spirit jersey girl. Never thought I would ever say that, but here we are. Wearing the spirit jersey. I love this thing. It's so comfy. Like, I live in this. I live in this so much. The only sad thing is, like, the second day I wore it, I took a nap, and our new little puppy chewed a little hole in it. I guess gotta sew it, I know, but, like, rip. But like, look how cute, like it's so cute and comfy. And like, if I didn't have to turn off my fan to film, I'd be wearing it right now. Let's finish off fashion with some accessories. Uh, I have been really loving like hair, hair tie bow scarves, like hair tie scarves, is that what they're called? But you see what I'm wearing right now? Like I've been really just liking this with this hairstyle. I know it's very old Ariana Grande, but I just love it. I got a bunch of these like Five Below and Dollar Tree. And like, I know they'd be easy to make too, but they're literally just hair ties with bows and long ribbons on the end. And I've been obsessed with wearing them in my hair. I just think they complete every outfit and just look super cute. And another thing I'm actually wearing right now, um, I've had these earrings for a while. These are these like these little cute pearl earrings. Uh, my sister actually got them during her wedding. They were like her wedding gift to her bridesmaids and they're just from Kate Spade. And they're like these little rose gold pearls and... I keep wearing them. I've never thought I would just be like a simple earring gal, but I keep just kind of wearing these every day when I can wear earrings, and I really like them. But don't worry, I'm still extra, and I still love, 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 love me some big old flashy earrings, especially heart-shaped earrings. I've, uh, 
I found myself kind of going wearing a lot of heart-shaped earrings lately. I recently got these pair from Plato's Closet and they're like these cute with pearls and then the little Valentine's like black heart. I really love these. I've been wearing these a lot. I found these at Michael's, these like cute little acrylic heart earrings. They're from Valentine's Day and they were like on sale for like 60% off. Uh, I've just been really liking these and then also from Michael's they had these like little confetti heart earrings. I know Valentine's Day is over, but like I just love heart-shaped jewelry. I think it's cute. It's what I'm about. This really isn't like jewelry, but I feel like I could go in. I uh, just talk about my favorite little pins that I got recently. As you guys know, I collect Disney pins and I'm a pin trader. And I got some ones I really like. You guys saw this in my last video, the Tiana pen. Oh, that reverses. I love it. I won't go too detailed with it because like I literally showed it in my last video. But I love, 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 love this pen so much. It's so cute. But I also got some really, really cute ones in trading. My roommate actually got this one for me. It is a little winter Marie with little like beret on. How cute is she? Like how adorable. I love it. And then I got this beautiful Cinderella pen. Growing up, Cinderella was my all-time favorite princess. I love her so very, very, very much. I feel a very like deep connection of her personality and my personality. And I'm a very big firm believer of not giving up on your dreams. And I just thought this pen is so beautiful. And it's like a classic Cinderella, which I love. Because I don't really like how they knew, like how they kind of draw her now. I like the original Cinderella. So anytime I can get a pen with the original Cindy, I get it. And then the last one is this green alien mochi pen. Uh, mochi is like my favorite food and green alien the green aliens from Toy Story I am so obsessed with them. I love them so very very much. They're like one of my favorite char Disney characters of all time like I just I love them and I want to go to Disneyland Tokyo one day so bad just so I can get these little green alien to uh, mochis but look how cute like this pen is so adorable like those are my favorite pens at the moment. But yes, this is mostly beauty related channel. So of course I gotta talk about some makeup things I have been loving. I really love these LA Girl Shockwave liners. I've been wearing them on my waterline all the time. This yellow one is especially my favorite. I'm wearing it today. I wear it so much. I love it. I just, they're really good and they're super cheap and they, they stay on for so long. Like they're amazing and they're pigmented as hell. This other thing I picked up on a whim. It was only it was on sale for like four bucks. So I was like, why not? Let's try it. And that is the ColourPop BFF mascara. And I'm a person who's always been like, mascara doesn't matter. I wear giant lashes anyway, so like I don't really care. But I really love how dark this mascara is, and I like what it does with my bottom lashes. And it's like really cheap, and I am all about it, so. Heck yeah. Speaking of lashes, as you know, I wear false lashes all the time and I have been a very, very big, like I've always said that the Kiss Lash Adhesive is like my favorite because a lot of lash glue bothers my eyes. My eyes are really sensitive and so that's like the only lash glue I've ever used that hasn't bothered my eyes. But I made the switch to their e-glue uh, strap, the uh, strip liner strap, uh, premium strip lash adhesive. It's still from Kiss, so it's still the same brand. But I found that this one stays on longer and it like I literally have no like I don't feel anything at all with my eyes like it's just so nice and lightweight and I just really like the sh the, the igloo one so it's the white packaging. I think it's, it's actually made for like sensitive eyes too so I really like this one. For lips I this is weird to say but I've kind of been in love with this nudie color it is pretty by Milani. It's one of their more matte lips. It's like this nudie pink color. I'm wearing it now, topping with the other lip product I'm gonna talk about. But I just really like how this looks. It's just like a really pretty pinky nude and it's so weird for me saying a favorite is a nude right now, but I just really like how this look looks with like my peachy pink eye look. So I have been reaching for this lip quite a bit lately. And I've also like to top it, which what I'm wearing now, it's this Milani Hypnotic Lights in the shade Flashing Light. Um, it's really pretty. It's like a peachy pink glitter lip topper and I think it's discontinued now because I got this at Target on sale for like four bucks. I'm hoping it's not a discontinued product because I really like it and they last on the lips a long time. We'll find out when I go to buy it again I guess but I really think it's really pretty and it looks so good with like warm peachy eyes that I'm so happy I got it. And then I also really like... 
And speaking of peachy eyes, I have really like this beautiful shimmery pink shadow. It's like one of those liquid shadows. It is from uh, Revolution Makeup, uh, Makeup Revolution. It's their Eye Glisten, and this one is in the shade Adored by You. It's just a beautiful pink, and they go on really nicely. I like the glitter in it. I like the shimmer shadow. They look so pretty, and it was really cheap. I think this was like seven or eight bucks. So compared to paying like 30 bucks for a Stila one, I will take this any day. Now, I will say, yes, the Conspiracy palette has been a favorite. I feel like it's everybody's favorite. But there's a reason, a real reason why I think this has been my favorite mostly, and that is because I have been loving wearing pigment as blush. It is a beautiful, like, peachy pink shade, and it just looks so pretty on your face as a blush. And I just, like, I have been reaching for it all the time whenever I have to put blush on. And I just, in general, eyeshadows of blushes is what I've been doing more lately than wearing actual blush. And like, which is weird because, you know, blush is like my favorite makeup product, but I keep reaching for eyeshadows to use as blush because I just really like how pigmented it is and bright and I like to wear a lot of blush. And I don't know if you can tell, I kind of contour my face with blush now. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it just adds that extra impact. And I have also have a new blush brush that is my favorite. I had been using that big giant fluffy brush. I don't even remember what it is. It's like a pink one forever. But one day I couldn't find it. So I grabbed this e.l.f. highlighting brush, like brush, and this is what I use for my blush now. Cause like, it just, it picks up the product so nicely and blends it out, but also makes it so I can shape it exactly how I want. And I don't have to use a separate brush for my nose. And I know, I just really like how it puts my blush on. So in the realm of beauty products, there has been some hair products that I have definitely been loving a lot lately. And that is one is my hair color, and that is Arctic Fox's Periwinkle. I have been so obsessed with this color. I I really love my hair blue. I am just, I'm gonna keep in this like cool tone color scheme of like purpley blue shades in my hair for a while, like silvery tones. Cause I just, I'm really liking how it looks and I just, I'm feeling really confident with it. And I just think this color is amazing. And for as much as I dilute it, it lasts a long time. So I just think it's a very beautiful color. But they're in, in between times of dyeing it, because again, I don't like to dye it all the time. But I like to at least keep that cool, toned, silvery hair going. Daenerys Targaryen white, you know what I mean? I've, uh, I have found a new favorite purple hair product. And that is the Generic Value Products Conditioner. Now, I used to use their shampoo, but I always was like, no, the only way to get the best, like, toned hair for silver and white hair is to use shimmer lights which, you know, can be a little pricey, but I feel like the conditioner is the way to go over the shampoo. And I've always said this to everyone who wants white hair, that like, yes, the, con the shampoo helps with the color and gets out those brassy tones, but the conditioner is really what sets it. Like, I think the conditioner puts in so much more work than the shampoo does, and honestly, the generic brand gives you the prettiest silvery shade. Like again, I thought that the Shimmer Lights was the best, but no, this one is so much better. It literally makes the most beautiful silvery purple color in your hair, and oh, it's gorgeous. Like when you set it for a long time, if you won't want the silver purple, don't leave it on as long, but I leave it on as I wash my face and wash my body and like shave and stuff, and I rinse it out, and like my hair is just beautifully white silver, and I am all about it. Like this is it. This is the product. So the last thing is not really a physical thing, but Halsey's new album. Oh my god. So good. So very, 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 very good. It's honestly all I've been listening to. And like just Halsey in general has been a favorite lately. Like I've always liked her music, but like lately it's really just been hitting me hard and like putting me in my feels. I've been like, I don't know. Again, I was really sad over a boy all of last month, which is stupid. I know. I know. It's dumb. But like, listening to her music just kind of helped me like with that and like just kind of put in perspective. Like, I don't know. I just relate to a lot of her music and a lot of what she writes a lot and it's beautiful and I can't stop listening to it and I'm gonna see her in July and I am excited. 
But yeah, guys, that's everything I've currently been loving. Oh, wait, one last thing. I've been loving this puppy, even though she's been so annoying the entire time I've been filming this. What are you doing? What are you doing? But yeah, she's super cute, and I love her. So she is also a current favorite. Little Miss Dolly. All right, you're, go you're going back down. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. This has been everything I've currently been loving, and yeah, like, if you guys have any recommendations of anything like this, that I should try out or listen to, new music, new movies. I'm always looking for new things, so comment down below some things you like and what you think I should try out or go shopping or whatever. I mean, I'm trying to save money this month, but like, you can treat yourself every once in a while, alright? <laughs> so thank you guys again so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I would just be really, really mad of you guys. I hope you stay lovely. Bye!